Hello everyone, welcome to Photo Focus. I am your host, Melissa New, and in this segment of What's in Your Bag, we are with the ever-talented aviation and wildlife photographer, Mr. Moose Peterson. How Thanks are you? Thanks for having you? me. Doing yeah. real good, and you? Good, okay. welcome to Las Vegas. Hey, Vegas, oh yeah. <laughs> so, where the moose loves to be. So do you use flash? Do All the time. Do you? Yeah. So, okay, let's talk about flash. What do you take with you? Well, um, if I'm doing just critters, it's the mm -hmm. SB910. Okay. It's the most powerful small flash they have. Sure. And I'm not using flash for exposure, which most people think of. I'm using it for color. Oh. Okay, do you ever so, do off-camera flash? Do you utilize the... Depends what's going on. Generally, it's right over the, the lens access, because mm -hmm. I'm not using it for exposure, so I don't worry about any shadows I'm creating. Sure. Um, so basic scenario, birds, okay? They have feathers. Mm -hmm. Those feathers are there because those colors is how they communicate the, you know, a male to a female of the same species right. versus different species within a flock. Mm -hmm. So color is one of the first things they use to communicate, not much different than us with clothes. Mm -hmm. Except for their feathers, there are many, many prisms and they're meant to collect light and bounce it off different ways. We don't see all that, they do. So that color, okay, is very unique to them. So you have a, a bird in full sun, okay, the sun's bouncing off, you see all the colors they're already supposed to. As soon as that bird goes in the shadow, now instantly those colors are changed because the light's not hitting it directly. Right, right. So if you want those colors to come out and you're a photographer and the bird's in the shadow, you have to use that sun or that flash to, to replace the sun to get those true colors to come out. I feel like I'm in National Geographic education. I'm learning it, it all right now. It's, 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 it's <laughs> actually, I mean, all of this is on my, my website, on, on my videos. So yeah. biology is quite unique and very, uh, very special. And um, you have to understand these things to understand what it is that you have to photograph with wildlife. Well, to me, if you're a photographer, no matter what your genre, you have to understand that subject. Absolutely. It's just like when we were taught as kids in our first English lesson, you know, you want to write about subjects, you get to know the subject. Photography is no different. Absolutely, Cause, yeah. Cause once you know it, then a lot of problems are solved and the main precept of a photographer being a storyteller sure. is very simple. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, Moose, where, where can we find your work? You talked about your website. And do you have a blog? Do you update I keep it? everything very simple. Do you? MoosePeterson.com. Okay. YouTube channel, Moose Peterson. You know, Easy. Twitter, Moose Peterson. Easy. Facebook, Moose Peterson. All right. So, yeah, I use the KISS theorem. Okay. Keep it simple, stupid. Keep it simple, stupid. Mm -hmm. Moose Peterson, M-O-O-S-E Peterson. S-O-N. Yeah. S-O-N. All yeah. right. Well, definitely check that out. And Moose talked a lot about different gear. Not everyone has the ability to purchase that big hunk of a 800 lens or the D4S. But you can, lend it. You can rent it at LensRentals.com. And I would definitely encourage you guys to check out Moose's work. It's beautiful, but not just his work. Holy cow, you know a lot about animals. So I was very educated today. So thank you so much. My pleasure. Thanks so much. <laughs>